Brazil is literally wrapped in a mysterious cloud. And it is that a rare phenomenon appeared Sao Paulo and made it get dark at 3 in the afternoon, yes, 3 in the afternoon. An unusual schedule for it to happen. A strong cloudiness, formed by sea winds from the south and southeast, and a couple of fires in Bolivia and Paraguay, are two of the versions that specialists handle to explain the absence of natural light in the Brazilian capital. Something similar happened in Mexico City during the past environmental contingency, where the ozone particles decreased visibility, but not to the degree of obscuring the city. Whatever the official version, this phenomenon is what caught the attention of the entire world and immediately compared Sao Paulo with Gothic City. All versions the National Institute of Meteorology said that the city is within a cloud, which is being evaluated. The Center for Climate Emergency Management said it is a cold front, caused by moisture and the entry of polar air. No one gave any explanation for what caused the dust cloud. Dust clouds are not normal meteorological events. As mentioned before, Teixeira de Freitas has a booming eucalyptus economy that is controversial because the non-native plant is a huge consumer of water, yet is ironically a big fire hazard because eucalyptus oil is highly flammable. Was this dust cloud the result of a fire or dry conditions that those possibly responsible, agribusiness and factories, wanted covered up? For Francisco Villela, meteorologist of the Inmet, this phenomenon was due to the particles of smoke produced by fires and the cold front comma which caused the darkness. This was all before the Amazon wildfires. The Amazon rainforest is burning at an unprecedented rate, and the fires are unlikely starting themselves. Rather they may be set by people in an attempt to clear land for mining. The fire that we are seeing today is a fire that's directly related to deforestation, Anna Lenka, the scientific director of Brazilian NGO IPAM, Institute of Environmental Research in Amazonia, told Forest News website Mongo Bay. These are not wildfires, she said, but rather fires set by people seeking to create cattle ranches, and mining for corporations, intentionally ignited during the dry season each year. They cut the trees, leave the wood to dry and later put fire to it, so that the ashes can fertilize the soil. Links between the Amazon rainforest fires and a recent lawsuit won by concerning the selling of sacred Amazonian lands to oil companies.